Hi, welcome to this new episode of Uspot 101, the series where I show you useful tips and tricks based on simple Uspot features. And for today's video, I would like to show you how to export your contact companies deal database. So on the CRM tab, contact companies deals ticket, you will see all the records you have for this specific object. And sometimes you might need to do export to convert your database into a CSV or Excel file. And to do so, you have basically two ways to do so, but there is some things to take into account before doing so. The thing to understand is you can export the entirety of your database, but you can export a specific filtering of your database as well by clicking on advanced filters. Here, you will be, you will be able to put all the filters you want to define the exact kind of contact you want to export. So in this example, as it's a sample account, I don't have that much data. But let's say I just want to export the contacts with a spot.com address. I will just filtering that way. Email contains exactly upspot.com. By doing so, we will see that all the contacts that correspond to these specific filters are showing here. And if I want to export them, I just click to the button export. And then two things can happen. Either you choose to download the contacts with all properties on record, with all association if you want. So we'll have a huge Excel file with a colon for each property your Uspot portal have. Or you can choose to only export properties that are on this specific view. So in our case, name, email, phone number, contact owner, primary contact, next activity date, list status, and create date. If it's what you want, by that I mean if you only want to export some specific properties, you can first edit columns. And by them, you will be able to add all the information that you want to export. So total revenue, days to close, etc., etc. You just choose the property you want to show, you apply, and then when you will click on export and only properties in the views, you will be able to have the complete information you want about your export. So that was the first way of doing so. The second way is even easier. You just go to CRM list and you will be able to export specific lists. So for instance, this one I created for this video, you load the list and then you just click to export list. The good thing about this technique is like you make sure you have the good filters already placed with your list criteria and you can directly select the properties you want to export, modify the order, delete the one you don't care about, next, and click on export. There is another way to basically not export in a one click button, but have like kind of a continuously export in time using Google Sheet integration that I will show you in the next video. I hope this tip was useful for you. If it's okay, don't forget to put a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And I'm Greg, I wish you a great day and see you soon.